We are in Malaysia, a country crazy about badminton. And in this video, we're going to be playing against you, our subscribers. We're very excited to see what we might be up against. So let's go. Today we are with Kristen. Thanks yeah. for inviting us down. And we are also here with Jason at his session. So how many times do you usually play a week? Uh, so this group we play uh, once a week on Saturdays. Once yeah. a week. So for us, we play about twice a week. Okay. Uh, some of us play more than that, but generally it's twice a week. You said in your email to us that you've been subscribed for a long time. And we used to have notifications every time we got a subscriber. And we went back and saw that you subscribed two months after we started the channel. So we just want to thank you for being a long-term subscriber. Without further ado, let's play some badminton. Yes, let's go. Okay, so yeah. we do mainly games. Yeah, but mainly then games. We may also do some drills. Yeah. We might add some rules into the games as we go, and also try and give you lots of tips to help you improve. All right. Let's go. Sounds good. A lot of lifting. Oh. <laughs> Good serve. Oh, he's gone for it again. <laughs> How did that compare to your usual Saturday morning sessions? I think the first thing that we noticed is just the difference in the intensity. Yeah. So it's just the levels, the speed of it is like way more intense. It's like I, I can way see quicker. the shuttle and the smash. It's like, where is it always there? <laughs> <laughs> the more you get used to playing at a high intensity, the better you will get. There's a few times that you played a shot and you were like, oh, you're so fast. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Jenny was like killing it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas normally that would be like a really good shot. <laughs> Against people with good attack that you can't see, try and not lift as much. Okay. So try and find space at the net or like pushes. You don't want to make it obvious that you're going to play a net shot, but yeah, just try and push up the court and not lift as much. So we're just at 11-2 in our first match against Jason and they were also lifting a lot, causing them to lose a lot of points. Okay, so because you guys are lifting quite a lot and losing quite a lot of points because of your lifts, we're going to play a no lift game. So you're literally not allowed to lift. It's gonna be hard, but hopefully it will help you improve. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. I'll just caveat that because obviously they could work on the lift quality and consistency and also the defense. But yeah, we'll try this for now. How did you find that? So yeah. sadly, we were forced to, you know, soften and play yeah. a different dynamic. Yeah. And uh, I think that really shook us up a bit. Yeah. No, shook us up a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think because we are used to lifting to buy ourselves time to set, get set. Yeah. So having not being able to lift yeah. uh, put us a bit in a quandary, I guess. But as we said, when you play against better players, you probably can't lift as much. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. it's a good experience. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. We've gotten a lot of badminton inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> Although that was 21-4, they were doing the right things and definitely got better throughout the match. When we played last week, Yuta and Arissa, it's exactly how we felt, that there is no empty space on the court. And that's where you start going for the perfect shots. Mm. Like at the end, you're trying to almost get like a net cord on mm. your return. Mm. 
or like you're trying to hit a crazy smash cross court off balance and when you're playing people who have good defense then it's easy for us to like whip you and get you into trouble but it's just practicing hopefully by the end of the night we challenge again we can double the score again hopefully yeah, yeah. that was 21 7 and their aim was 21 <laughs> 10 so they've only got three more to get so i'm now gonna sit off and watch this men's doubles and hopefully help them out technically while they play Every time. I missed that on this camera, but that's happened way too many times today. And we've got it again. Can they get past Greg in the third shot? Oh, lift. Cop out. I think. I think it feels like you're in our heads, like you're reading our minds. What right. advice would you give when you're playing against someone who's really good at the first three shots? You know, he, he takes it so early and it's so quick, I can't do anything. That's where like the simple net shots yep. and simple net shots to the side are really effective. So don't try and play too, too much to the center. Try and use a bit more width on your return. So instead of coming in like this, you're just playing it soft down the side. That makes him move a lot more. So it's instantly, instead of him taking it within his like hitting zone here, he's taking it out of reach here. When you were trying to hit hard, you were having a bit of a bigger backswing, which meant that by the time you were hitting the shuttle, you, you were taking it a lot later. And therefore I could read it because you only had limited shots and they, were, they had to go upwards. So maybe in, like, in the next matches you play, only try and play either soft net shot to the side or soft push down here. Even if you're playing people where you can play these returns and you get away with it, try and do these returns so that when you come up against people like us, then you've already practiced it and you, you know like, okay, I can hit this return nine out of 10 times. It's just practice. By the way, it's 11 p.m. and we've just finished, but people are just starting to play now. And apparently they play until two o'clock in the morning. Unbelievable. After playing against over 20 subscribers in the last few days, the three most common areas for improvement that we noticed were lifting way too much. The first three shots. And hitting hard off balance. And these areas might be relevant for you too. So hopefully after watching this video, you can recognize these and go away and improve them. Yeah, the better you get, the more fun badminton gets. And if you want to learn more about your defensive technique or some return of serves you can play, then check out these videos here. And lastly, don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you on another video very soon.